it's so frustrating to put in so much work and get so little back in terms of results. Ever been there? You're grinding through a fat loss phase, putting in the work, doing everything right, and then suddenly progress just stops completely. Nothing is more frustrating than busting your butt and getting what seems like nothing in return. But did you know there are things you can do to largely prevent that from happening in the first place? Let's dive in and look at the four most common scenarios. First up, let's make sure you're actually in a plateau before we push the panic button. This comes down to how you're tracking your progress. And the most common thing people do here is they look exclusively at the scale. There are plenty of reasons why the scale might not be moving. First of all, give it time. If it's stagnant for two to four days, that means absolutely nothing. The number can bounce around or fluctuate up or down within a range for quite a while without really being stuck. Now, if it's been around 10 to 14 days and the trend still isn't doing anything, that's when I'd start to consider the possibility of a plateau. But you have to compare that against the photos you're taking. You are taking photos, right? Remember, with fat loss, we're typically targeting a visual aesthetic, not a number on the scale necessarily. At least we should be. So if your photos are changing, again, that's what we care about. It can be tough to evaluate yourself in photo form, but be consistent in how you take your photos. Same location, same outfit, same time, same lighting, and give yourself the best chance for an even and fair comparison there. Next, this is gonna maybe be a little too obvious, but make sure you're following your plan to a T before you start thinking that you're stuck. I mean, maybe you are stuck, but maybe the reason for that is because your macros are all over the place, you're missing cardio sessions, or you're short on steps, or your sleep and recovery are way off. It's also possible you have some math or tracking errors in your numbers and here's where it can be helpful to have a coach who can audit your macros or diet to make sure there isn't a tracking error slash math measurement error within a meal plan the whole dry versus cooked thing often causes confusion for newer dieters real quick also if you find this stuff helpful of course you can like the video subscribe to the channel to see more but did you also know that I have a full online course available that goes deep, stupidly deep into these topics. It's called Macro Boot Camp and it offers more detail on breaking plateaus, but it also covers the basics like what are macros? Why are macros? How do I smartly adjust my macros over time? And a ton more, including walkthroughs for the most popular food tracking apps, building meal plans, using those apps, as well as chapters for plant-based eating, routine building, meal prep tips, and a ton more. You can check it out in the link below in the description to get discounted access now. Right now, now I have phases one and four online ready to go and I'm working on more of it every day. So this is a cousin of the non-plateau. I call it the phantom deficit plateau. This is where programming says one thing, calories, cardio, steps, etc., but your actual execution of the plan says another. Here's the thing. The longer you stay in a cut or a deficit, the more it kind of just grinds on you and has the ability to wear you down. There's a lot of fatigue that builds up. This can be plain old raw fatigue where you're just super tired or diet fatigue where you're looking for something off plan simply for the sake of variety. In the first case, the way you typically respond to that is just by getting lazier. It makes sense, you know, oh, I'm tired all the time, I'm just gonna rest. You're less active and before you know it, you're getting in 4,000 fewer steps than normal and that can be enough to pull you out of a deficit. Similarly, you can start sneaking in bites of food off plan here and there and that has the ability to add up to several hundred calories if you aren't careful, which again is enough to negate a deficit. The answer, is to always remember what a good, solid, on-plan day looks like and feels like, and don't stray from that. If you get really tired, give yourself a day off from the gym, but keep your cardio and steps up where they need to be. Okay, our final scenario here is, what if it's an actual fat loss plateau? <laughs> There's a bit of a decision to make here. It's, it's really caused by one of two things. In most cases, number one, you simply aren't pushing hard enough. Or number two, pushing too hard. For starters, just ask yourself on a gut level, how hard am I working? If you have to ask the question and seriously think about the answer, you can probably either cut your calories or increase your cardio a bit. I'd start with one or the other unless you do both in very small amounts. Now, if you feel exhausted already and your training performance is suffering, you're probably under-recovered and would benefit the most from doing less, not more. Give your body a break. Take a few days off from training. Chill on the cardio. Maintain the diet and your daily step count. If you see the scale drop after a few days of that, it's a sign that you probably just needed more recovery time. Look at your sleep quality and quantity, 
plan for more of that and adjust your training rotation to allow for an extra rest day here and there as well as you can maybe reduce your training volume. You can possibly look at doing a refeed for two to four days closer to your maintenance calorie level as well, uh, assuming you have time to pull that off. So yeah, plateaus suck, but as you can tell, oftentimes it's not a real plateau. And when one does hit, there's a pretty basic method of attack to bust through it. You just want to focus on recognizing it quickly so you can take appropriate action soon and not spin your wheels in frustration any longer than necessary. All right, what do you think? Have you overcome a plateau using a different method? Leave a comment below. Tell me about it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Check out one of these videos too, which might be right up your alley. Thanks for watching.